Hi Thrifty Friends, it's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. For some reason my iPad's bouncing. I hope we're not experiencing an earthquake. We get them every once in a while here in Ottawa. Anyways, yes, hope you're all doing well. Oh, see, I did it again. I'll try not to move. A small haul to share with you and um, <clears throat> a little bit of Debbie's uh, package that she sent me and a request. I am requesting from my friends prayers for my son. He is going in for major surgery tomorrow morning and I won't go into the details but any of you that feel comfortable doing so I really would appreciate you sending your prayers and your positive thoughts. So I was out this morning and picked up a few things and I have a few things that I did last week and never had time to get around to. Uh, from Debbie, she sent me this lovely map, map of Tennessee. I absolutely love maps and I can't wait to pour over it and because I have been to Tennessee and it's a beautiful place and then use, use it in my junk journals. And also Debbie, I'm not going to be able to show everything that you sent, but in this bag with wonderful trims in it, she sent me this. And this I just absolutely love because in her note she said this is off her bathrobe from the 1970s. So Debbie, you totally have the heart of a junk journal maker. <laughs> I'm going to do something fun with that and with all these other beautiful trims that are in here. So thanks again Debbie for, for the stuff that you sent. I'm really enjoying it. So my little haul today, and it was very little. Uh, I found this little fella and I just thought he would bring a smile to my face and uh, I'm going to enjoy him in my Christmas decor. He's got no markings on him or anything and somebody forgot to paint the back of his hat. <laughs> Poor fella. But he's, uh, he's going to be enjoyed. And then lucky me, this is a product that I use quite a bit of and it was in the basket for 50 cents and I thought well it might be all dried up but it's not it's it's working perfectly so I think those are like ten dollars at Michael's so that was really great that I got that now from last week I picked up this your good sport Charlie Brown and some of my favorite cartoon memories were peanuts I just loved them and I loved the um Oh, the, the Great Pumpkin in the fall and then the, uh, the Christmas one. Oh, I love the, the little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Love, love, love it. So this, uh, this is going to be enjoyed and then maybe I will make myself a junk journal using this. So that and then this one I actually got today. The girls annual and I paid three dollars for it and it's just full of lovely vintage images that I will um, I will use in a junk journal. Let's find something nice to show you. Oh, <laughs> this lovely girl hanging over her desk. I think she's tired, bless her. <laughs> so what's the, uh, let's see what the date is on this. If we have one. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, school girls annual. I don't want to keep everybody while I'm looking. No, I don't see a date, but look at this lovely. That was worth the $3, eh? That's gorgeous. So I'm going to have fun with that. Uh, this I picked up at the op shop last week, and it was $0.50. Cents, and it's full of vintage uh, sewing ephemera. That is actually, it's a, it's a needle book, but I've already taken the needles out because I have been making some of my own ephemera. I, I color photocopied and then making these to go into junk journals. So I took the needles out so I didn't want it doing anything horrible to my photocopier. Some Christmas ribbon on a vintage card and then a bunch of these and they are carpet thread, linen carpet thread. So that's cool. I've got four of those, oh, three of those. And mending for nylon hose. I already have a few of these. I think they're really cool. 
So they're fun. One of these days I'm going to do a vintage sewing journal. And this, this is a shuttle, I think, for tatting. Somebody might be able to tell me for sure. But uh, it doesn't look terribly old. So I'll maybe pass that on to someone. So that box for 50 cents was fun. Whoops. Some thread got caught on my fingers. Uh, these look like fun. Denison photo corners. And they're pink. I've never seen pink photo corners. So get some out to show you. Yeah, look at that pink photo corners. How cool is that? So we'll use them and I'll also use this packaging for junk journal ephemera. What else have I got here? Oh, a bunch of stamps from Expo 67. I fondly remember my trip to uh, Montreal to Expo 67 and I have been collecting ephemera so that I could do a little junk journal of that. I don't have any of the photos from there but it's certainly the memories and I can write some of the memories. This little book appealed to me. It's the Nutcracker. Just thought it would be fun to make some Christmas ephemera with. So grab that. It's probably 50 cents or something. And then the Tales of Jemima Puddle Duck. So cute. I just love Beatrix Potter. Her illustrations are so adorable. So that's junk journal fodder. And this is the scrapbook, black pages, acid free, archival quality. So it's got paper in here that I will use. And then this I will also be able to reuse. And I'll probably just cut down here and make this into a smaller journal and put different papers in. Oh, excuse me, my hair is itching my nose. This book. I got mixed up. I thought it was a different book uh, that was one of Andrew's favorites when he was a youngster, but it's not. But uh, maybe as the kids get a little older, it's uh, something that we can all enjoy. A Prairie Boy's Winter. So I have a thing, I have an affinity for the prairies. I've only passed through there <clears throat> twice. <clears throat> Excuse me, twice but I could have happily stayed in Saskatchewan. I love Saskatchewan. Uh, this I just grabbed, it was 50 cents. And I have so many pretty plates that I would like to hang. So that was a handy thing to grab. Now this is something I have been wanting for years and years and years, because I love to mooch around on the back roads. You'll never catch me on a big highway. I don't I don't like them. I drive slowly and everybody gets angry with me. So this is really fun. I'm glad I've got it. And uh, I'm going to enjoy some trips along the back roads and find some places to do some camping or at least some picnicking. So that's great. I was really pleased to get that. And it's regularly $20. I think they charge me two for it. Because I can get it at Canadian Tire, but every time I went in there, I thought, nah, I won't spend $20 today. So, yay, I held out till I got it. And then this lovely lace, the whole thing, what did they charge me? $4? I don't think they charged me $4. I think they only charged me 2 So, a lovely, uh, there's a lot of lace there. I'll be able to do some sharing with it. And... Crayons, because you can never have too many crayons, 25 cents. And then these, this is off of my big purchase last week. I bought, I bought these binoculars. Oh, hello. The wee, oh no, it's just the exoskeleton of a bug. Huh, how cool is that? Probably can't see that. I thought it was a shad fly, but it's just the exoskeleton. Somebody has shed their shed their uh, skin. So I'll just put you down there. Yeah, these were 30 and I'd, I'd looked at them, but I thought, no, I'm not going to spend 30 because I did want to get a pair uh, for bird watching for me and the kids, but everything last week was 50% off. So for $15, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll give them a shot. So they're kind of heavy to take around with me. I still would like to get a, a small pair, you know, that's easy and light to carry around. 
but for now these are going to be great and we'll take them down to the river and see all the wonderful critters that are down there and my bag is empty so uh debbie thank you again i'm sorry i didn't to do your whole box uh, but i certainly appreciate everything the kids have been having fun with the stitchery kits and um again please send your prayers along for my son all is going to be well and um i'll let you know when he's out of the hospital so take care for now and we'll talk to you again not too soon it'll be a while bye for now